Sometimes when you want to live stream, you can't actually be live at that very moment. And so using pre-recorded live stream is an option. And that's where OneStream comes in. Now I've been a customer of the OneStream platform for quite some time, ever since I've started live streaming essentially in 2016. But more recently, they have updated to their platform. Specifically, they've allowed me beta access to their studio, which is the ability to live stream directly from their platform. So now we have an all-in-one web-based platform without any software to install literally just going over to the OneStream website logging into my account now I can both live stream pre-recorded video and also live stream live video so let's log into my account on OneStream and check it out let's select the login button my profile and log in now as you can see you can connect multitudes of different accounts to the OneStream platform you even see popular platforms like Instagram and TikTok here as well. Another platform that I use on a regular basis is called ViewStub, which is a hybrid conference live stream platform. And I'll link to that in the description as well, because that platform allows you to do some really cool things if you're hosting any type of event. So you can choose the different accounts that you want to connect for your pre-recorded video. Now, once you get access to the live studio video, this is going to be really interesting. So let's select new stream. And on the left side, we can see that we have studio beta access we're gonna select on that we're gonna allow our camera and microphone to be seen by the computer and boom just like that we have our camera already ready to go now this is my very first time logging into this I literally got the email saying that I was approved for the beta program yesterday so as we're recording this video you guys are gonna see it all in real time so it says let's create a live session and you can invite participants later so we'll go ahead and put in my name here Monty Weaver and before before I hit create, we do want to notice that on the bottom left hand side, we have our microphone enabled by default and our video camera enabled by default. And in our settings tab, this is where we're gonna be able to go to make any of these changes. Now I'm gonna actually switch this over to my Black Magic microphone, which is the same microphone that you're listening to me right now, my shotgun microphone, my Sennheiser MKH-50 mic, and I run all my audio through my Black Magic as well. Next thing I wanna look at is my speakers. Now I'm really not gonna use my speakers for this video. We're not gonna do any type of interviews. And then as we go down, we see we have the options for noise suppression, echo cancellation, and auto gain control. Down below that we have our video and I'm using the Black Magic because I can switch between all my different cameras using the Black Magic and that is one of the reasons I'm a huge fan of video switchers because you can connect multiple cameras to one video switcher and bring it into your live streaming production and it sees it as one input source. So now that everything is set up here we'll select the X in the top left corner and we'll select create. So as we look through the information here we have the ability to do some drag and drops then that's pretty cool we can use control participants audio and video over here on the left hand side so maybe you need to mute someone they don't realize they're muted or vice versa enter and remove participants from the meeting we can control our own audio and video enter the chat section enter live sales here oh live sales Ooh, that's interesting we can record as well as actually stream it and that's something that I really like I wish more people would actually consider doing that because sometimes if your live stream goes down for any reason due to no fault of your own it allows you to have a recorded backup copy so that you can easily put that content where you need it to be displayed hit next here we have some things that we can do with our backgrounds and with our overlays and we'll go ahead and select done now the interface looks pretty easy to use and the guide just took us through a lot of the features but I do want to highlight some that I noticed just right off the bat so if we look over to the left hand side it says invite guests and this is going to be where you can invite guests to join you on your live stream broadcast this link copy and paste send this link to the person that you want to invite on your video live stream and it looks like you have default by whatsapp and to be able to email it as well so then let's look over toward the far right hand side because I see overlay here and so we can add our logos in the top left top right so if you have a custom banner overlay you can do that here's our actual banner that we can add here which is pretty cool so we hit show we can edit this banner as well lower screen ticker that's a very popular feature that a lot of live streamers use for updating their audience of things that are either coming up on future live streams and maybe you want to use an RSS feed something like that let's check out intervals 
So you've got some defaults in here. Oh, they got a 15 minute countdown timer. And I like having some of the longer countdown timers, especially because 30 seconds is quite frankly not long enough of a countdown timer. When you're live streaming and your audience is getting tuned up and geared up to come find you on the live stream, they need more than 30 seconds between the time you actually hit start live and the time that you actually get started because you want to actually have them there for the duration of the live stream. So giving more than 30 seconds allows you to do that. So 15 minute countdown timer by default in here is nice to have. And then we have some other countdown timers that you guys can definitely scroll through and look through. Anna, thanks for watching and the other social platforms that people can follow you on. Now let's look down toward the bottom of the menu here and we see that we have our mic. We can turn it on and off, disable it on and off, camera on and off. And if you wanna swap through different cameras that you might have, maybe you don't have a video switcher device, maybe you have two webcams that are plugged in, you can switch between the different webcams right here. And we have the share options, live sales. This is gonna be something that is very, very interesting and I want to learn more because I live stream on Amazon and I'm really entrenched in the live shopping aspect I really want to see how the live sales part of this works now it shows coming soon and I'm just really excited to see what this industry is going to allow for because if you're in any type of e-commerce and you sell your own products maybe even your own services this may be something to check out and then we have the record tab to record our video but let's jump in our settings and we can see that we do have a to 50 gigs of storage and if we need to add more cloud storage we can do that and then if we hit stream we can actually stream and go live instantly schedule a stream check out the scheduled events that you may have upcoming this is the brand new beta version of one stream so you definitely want something that is all in one and with this new introduction to their studio mode you definitely are going to have it with one stream so check it out in the description below and check out the other videos here on the channel as we dive more into live streaming and some of the other ways that you can take advantage of all the cameras and microphones that are available in the marketplace to help you improve your video.